Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to use the material tools that are within the Terrain tab. Now they're pretty simple to use, and they're very helpful. This size bar controls the size of the brush of the area which you're going to be putting down the materials. And right now, I've just colored my whole map basically in dirt. Basic dirt. So now when I select grass, I can paint on my grass. And if you want the detail to be better, you know, you can move it to a smaller brush. And you can zoom in. Maybe you want to have like a pathway of grass right through here. So all this is pretty basic. If you move it too fast, it gets dotty. It can't keep up with you placing. So, got my grass pathway. So this is great, but you know, if you got a huge world, it's going to take a long time for you to paint it all customly. So, you can use the bake global or bake lo local settings. And there's not much difference between those. The bake local only bakes the world, and by bake I mean it automatically paints the world based on these two parameters right here, steepness and height. It automatically paints down every material available to make it as natural as possible and it saves a lot of time so bake local only paints it on the areas that you can directly see everything that's in this box that I can see bake global which you're usually going to use paints the whole world including places you can't see like what was behind me so I would use bake global all the time but bake local is great for just testing so now as you see I've baked it globally you can see it's now placed dirt on slightly steeper areas and grass on flatter areas and yeah there is no stone in this world no no stone at all but we can configure that and I'll show you guys how so the where they're placed depends on the steepness the steepness of this is at the bottom which means grass will only be placed on not very steep areas which makes sense because grass can't grow on a vertical wall so grass is going to take over most of the flat areas as you can see when it gets too steep like right here and right there it'll place dirt because when we go look at dirt at the very top the steepness of dirt is slightly steeper so if we make it like a lot steeper and we bake it again you can see now it'll only place dirt in the really steep areas so that's that's great for customizability you can do that with every single one of these materials stone snow sand road gravel grass farmland and dirt but usually you want dirt to be in a semi shallow steepness so now that we've got our dirt you know maybe we want some stone now automatically this stone is not going to be checked like it's not going to be able to be placed because the steepness is at zero and you can't share a steepness with another material grass is automatically going to be placed because it's I think it's higher up on the list so it takes priority so you know stone let's think well if it's shallow grass is going to cover it if it's kind of steep dirt's going to cover it so the only really good area left is really steep so now we'll bake this so now instead of just dirt being everywhere, stone is also going to take some of those steeper levels. And you can see there's a transition here from dirt to stone. And that's actually really perfect because even dirt can't be on a flat wall. Stone is perfect because it'll support itself. So it just makes the whole world more realistic. I probably made it. This area is probably too steep. And you know, I could, sh I could flatten that out and make it more realistic but that's generally how you use that now the height tools I'll show you how the height tools work using the grass that's the best way to do it let's get to the grass okay so the grass's regular height is at 0.12 and that's on a percentage system one is at the very top zero is at the very bottom so 0.12 is like most of the bottom now for demonstration purposes I'm gonna put stone and dirt all the way down 
and I'll just bake it again so you guys can see. Okay, so now grass can't be on that super steep area, so that's still going to be stone. But grass has taken most of the dirt over. Now, if you can see right here, you've got a little bit of sand. Now, that's where the one, the point one two comes into play. If we put this down farther, we bake it again, that sand is going to disappear, as you can see it just did. So this, this height number limits the grass to any number above that. So if we put 0.12 again, and we bake it again, you can see exactly where this 0.12 level is. It's right here. Grass cannot be placed below that level. And grass is one of the materials that uses this. Another one that would use this is snow. If you put the height at 1, snow can't be placed because that's at the very top. But if you put it at 0.9 and you bake, at the top of these mountains over here, they will now be snow capped. So that's mostly what it's used for. But I'll show you some funky things that you can do. You know, if you've got too much grass, it won't go away. Let's see, where did the grass go? I lost it. You can raise the grass level and put it to 1. This will not this will make it so that no grass will be painted over the whole entire world. And what the generator does is it replaces it with the next best thing, which is sand. So that's how you would create a desert world. And guys, if if this stuff is not working for you, it's kind of tricky balancing it between the steepness and height to get exactly right materials on your land. Just do it by hand. It takes more time. But mostly the bake is used just for generally setting it up. So, okay guys, also something I didn't mention is this primary and secondary button. If you guys have watched the, the heights video that I did before, I'll put a link up here in the top left corner. The primary and the secondary button controls your custom painting, whether you're painting on this land over here if it's on the secondary button you'll paint over there and not over here and this is decorational land if it's on your primary button you can't paint over here the circle won't even go that far but you can paint over here so that's just what that that button does globally paints it everywhere so yeah and that's all about that's about all you need to know these other options right here aren't really based on how to paint the stuff it's based on the details and the resources and I'll make another video about that coming up soon so thank you guys for watching I hope I hope you guys learned something I definitely did in the making of this video and before I did this video I just sort of did it by hand but you know now I know a lot more about the global baking and I'll definitely set up my world basically when I first start making them so please like this video if you enjoyed it if you learned something please subscribe if you're looking forward to seeing some more videos from the gaming 4 and thank you guys for watching <laughs>